हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर फाइन सो लेट्स सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इट्स अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम नॉन होमोजेनियस पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दे आर मेजरली टू स्टेप्स फर्स्ट वन इज टू फाइंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन एंड द सेकेंड वन इज टू फाइंड द पर्टिकुलर इन टीटर सो फर्स्ट वेल हैव टू फैक्ट्राइज दिस सो एज यू कैन सी ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर सो ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट टू टर्म आई कैन टेक माइनस थ्री कॉमन so d minus d dash and d plus d dash minus 3 z equals to e power x plus 2 what is our next step our next step is to compare each factor with d minus m d dash minus a fine so comparing each factor with d minus m d dash minus a if i compare the first factor so i will get the value of m1 and a1 so my m1 is 1 my a1 is Zero. What about m two? That is minus one. And come, uh, you are getting your a two as three. So you are now all set to write your complementary function, which will be e power a one x. So e power zero x. I am not writing that. Because that is one. F one. Y plus m one x. Plus. E power a two x. F two. Y plus m two x. now coming to the particular integral because complementary function is all done so the particular integral is 1 upon d square you can either use the factorized form or the uh, form given in the question as well because in e power x plus b y we just replace d and d dash so both form will work so d dash square minus t d uh, because if uh, case of failure will come so that's why i'm writing this form so that it will be easy to differentiate plus 3d dash operating on e power x plus 2 so first of all i will just check check whether on putting a as 2 a as 1 and b as 2 i am getting denominator as non zero or not so this will be 1 minus 4 minus 3 plus 6 7 minus 7 which is 0 so because it is coming as 0 it is a case of failure
what we do in case of failure we differentiate the denominator with respect to partially with respect to d and multiply one one x in the same step multiplied by one x differentiated the denominator so 2d second term derivative is 0 and minus 3 again check so if I put a as 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 minus 3 which is minus 1 this time the denominator is coming none 0 so my pi finally will be uh, x will be there denominator is minus 1 so minus x e power x plus 2y so my z is cf plus pi e power 3x f2 y minus x minus x e power x plus 2 ok so that's it we have done the question the electricity is gone so I will although the question is over so let's summarize this focus on the screen and not on the photo which is on the top left so first step to factorize and then compare each factor with d minus md dash minus a find the complementary function which is f1 y plus e power ax f1 y plus uh, mx depending on whatever the value of m and a is write the complementary function coming to particular integral in case of e power ax plus by replace d by a and d dash by b if the denominator comes 0 multiply by 1x and differentiate the denominator with respect to capital D taking d dash as constant uh, repeat the same uh, until and unless you get a non-zero in denominator in the step in, you get, in which you get non-zero that is the particular integral finally z equals to cf plus p y is, p i is your answer that's it from my side do watch my partial differential equation playlist. Thanks and have a nice day.